Comparing interest rates is not simple, especially when comparing interest on maturity, annual compounding interest, and nominal interest rates. Take, for example, an advert for a five-year fixed deposit with 13.3% interest on maturity. In this case, the annual compounding interest rate is 10.75% and the nominal interest rate is 10.3%, all for the same return. So if one bank advertises interest on maturity, another annual compounding, and a third nominal interest, how do you know if you're getting the best rate? Interest on maturity relates to the total interest you receive at the end of five years, having left the money for the full period. You receive no interest income during the period as the interest is reinvested and it starts to earn interest on interest. The interest paid on maturity is linked as much to the length of the investment as the interest rate paid by the bank. The annual compounding interest rate is the effective interest rate over one year. The 10.75% annual interest rate means in one year, a 100,000 Rand investment would pay 10,750 Rand. But if you reinvested it, the balance grows to 110,750 Rand. And the 10.75% is applied to this new higher balance. This results in more interest being earned in the second year of 11,905 Rand. If you reinvest that amount, it grows the balance. So over five years, you would receive 66,600 Rand in interest. By dividing that total Rand interest earned by five years gives you 13,330 Rand a year, or 13.3% per annum. Things get even more complicated when interest rates are stated as effective or nominal. As interest is actually paid monthly, there is a compounding effect even within a year. Nominal is the annual interest rate before the benefit of monthly compounding. In this example, your nominal interest rate is actually 10.3%, but this is paid as 0.86% monthly, so that each month the interest earns interest, which means over a year your effective rate will be 10.75%. The best way to compare rates is to compare the nominal interest rate, as that is the cleanest comparison and is not affected by time. For investment periods of less than a year, the bank will still show the nominal annual interest rate for comparative reasons, but your interest received would only be for the months you were invested. If you are doing comparisons, ask the bank for a quote with the actual RAND interest you'll receive. It'll make the comparison easier. I am Maya Fisher-French.